Baking a cake is not as easy as you might think, as more than one harassed housewife has discovered, usually on the day of some big party she's arranging. But forgetting for a moment those old jokes about the landlady's rock cakes, etc., let's explain now that this is not bad baking. It's merely a demonstration of what can be done with confectionery that has been frozen. For frozen confectionery, which will stay fresh for months, seems to be the current, if you'll pardon the expression, trend. Let's pay a visit now to a bakery at East Finchley, one of the industry's pioneers of deep freeze. This is the room where bread rolls are born, a process that is surprisingly interesting. Few people realize what goes on behind the scenes at this stage, so watch closely and see if you can pick up a few hints. As you can see, these days most of the work is done by robot machines, which are often as amusing as they're ingenious. After the dough has been thoroughly mixed, it's taken over to an even more remarkable machine that separates and molds it to the shape required. The next stage is the actual baking, and when this has been done, the rolls are allowed to cool for about half an hour at room temperature, about 80 degrees, before going into the deep freeze. Scientific tests have proved that the rate of staling is decreased by deep freeze and that bread or cake can be left for between four to five months. But for practical purposes, four to five days is enough. Weekends and bank holidays, for example. The rolls will remain in the deep freeze at a temperature of around 10 degrees below zero, that is 40 odd degrees of frost, for as long as the baker wishes. Then they are allowed to defrost naturally at room temperature for periods of, say, 20 minutes to an hour for buns and small cakes, and two or three hours for bread or slab cake. Yet another example of the significant part science is playing in our everyday lives.